Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 22nd. You know, the timing is fluid, so whenever it resonates, okay? Um, what do we have? What do we got for an upcoming message? Page of Swords. Now, this is probably going to be a message you don't want to hear. <laughs> of course it is. Right? Of course. So, this is a message of conflict. Okay? It's a message that comes across as a little brash. It may be a little forthright. It may be hurtful. Okay? This is uh, direct communication. All right? Based on facts. And sometimes the truth hurts. So, you know, the Page of Swords is direct communication. And, you know, it comes across as a little rough. Okay? So, be prepared. Okay? Hmm. Oh, my goodness gracious. There's been an injustice. There has. This could be a court ruling. This could be a legal case that is against you or doesn't go in your favor or didn't go in your favor. Somebody may not be happy with the outcome. This is placing blame. There could be some lies, okay? And this somebody may feel like, this is not fair. This is not fair. There's been an imbalance. Somebody hasn't been wanted to be held accountable for their actions, but the truth is the truth. Perhaps, you know, somebody was, you know, needing to learn some sort of lesson. And there's consequences. There's consequences for not acting with integrity. There's consequences for lying. So this is a card of karma. And it's a card of uh, things probably not going in your favor or in another person's favor. Somebody may be unhappy because something didn't go in their favor. This is some sort of uh, truth or fact. Somebody may be speaking the truth in a court case. They may be speaking what they found. I mean, this could even be a private investigator, okay, or an investigator of some sort. This is somebody who observes before they speak the truth, and when they come forth, they got some facts in their hands. So if there's an upcoming court case and somebody has been lying, well, it doesn't. I don't think they're going to get away with it, put it that way. The lies are going to be revealed, okay? The truth is going to come out. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right. So... This is the end of a situation. It's a painful, painful situation by the looks of things. Somebody is going to get the victory, obviously. Somebody's been through a serious battle zone, right? They've been through the battle. They've been through the war. It's at the end. We're at the end of this battle. We at, this could be at the end of a case. These, this case is coming to a close because this is a case coming to an end. So this case is about to close. Okay, there's been an imbalance. There's probably been some indecision here. Somebody's been lying and they've probably been getting away with it. But it feels like somebody has some sort of information that is going to change the circumstances. We have somebody here that has been focusing on a loss. They've been overanalyzing, not seeing that there's an opportunity for happiness by the looks of things. Um, we have an intuitive individual here, somebody that is uh, definitely aware. This person has been observing and, and trying to get the information. This person may have the key. as well. We have somebody that has the key, that has the information that is going to um, bring justice to a situation so there's going to be and this person's been keeping quiet they've been waiting for the moment to deliver by the looks of things okay they've been waiting they've been waiting maybe for the date or something like that 
We have a highly intuitive individual here who has been keeping quiet. This is a healer. This could be a counselor of some sort. <laughs> this is somebody who is very receptive. This person knows something, has some information. There's good. We have somebody that is about to uh, reveal some information that has been hasn't been revealed yet. Okay. And it's gonna, it's like it's going to, this revel, this reveal, this reveal of information is going to help somebody to move on from a situation where there's sadness. Okay, there's sadness, there's discontent, there's a feeling of, uh, Loneliness in this situation. Okay, this person seems a little lonely. So I think we have somebody here that is in a situation that is not very happy. They can't, and they don't know that there's a big, bigger, better opportunity because they're so focused on this sad situation. But this is like help that is arriving. It really is. So I think there's some sort of help. And this person is the helper, whether it's a counselor or it's an empath or a healer or somebody that is very knowledgeable. This person is going to give some information that is going to help somebody move to a better place. This case is coming to an end. There's, there's, there's a lot of pain involved. Hmm. There's definitely going to be a relocation here. This is a relocation. There's no more growth. And perhaps something that happened, and I, I say this a lot with this card. This is my seven years. My seven years card. Somebody, something about seven years ago. Um, the seeds that you planted seven years ago, now it's coming, it's coming to the surface. Now it's, and now it's time for a relocation, whatever that means. It's time to go someplace else. There's no more growth here. There's this, and somebody may not be happy about the decision that is about to be made. I do believe there is a decision that is about to be made. We have somebody here that definitely didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. They didn't want to own up to the truth. But the truth is the truth. The facts are the facts. So I think that there is going to be some sort of truth that is delivered that forces somebody to own up to a situation that, you know, they, there's no more, there's no more. This isn't realistic anymore. There's, we can't put energy into this anymore. It's time to move on. Um, this is making progress after being in a situation, been through a battle, been through a serious battle. Somebody has been in a situation where they weren't loved by the looks of things or they weren't taken care of or something like that. They weren't loved. And I'm not sure if this is a child, but the Page of Cups will often resemble a child. Okay, this is an unrequited love situation. Okay, and this is like a, a loss of innocence here. It's a loss of innocence. And this could go all the way back to somebody's childhood. I don't know what this means, but the Page of Cups reverse is a lack of love, a lack of emotional fulfillment, unrequited love, not getting the love that you deserve. And, and, and we could even have a child that speaks up, okay? Because that pages often resemble children. There could be a child that speaks up, you know, that just says something that changes the circumstances. Um, children say things and without even thinking, you know, they, you can't stop a child from speaking the truth when they don't know any better. So there could be a child that speaks the truth and it, it, it causes somebody to be held accountable for their actions and you can't, it's the way it is. It's the way it is. You know, you, a child, you can't stop a child from speaking the truth. Um, usually, I mean, sometimes you can, but not usually. It, it all depends on the child's mentality. And, and this could mean an adult that acts like a child. Anyway, there is some sort of truth that is about to be sp spoken. And it is the blatant truth. And it can't be denied. The truth that can't be denied. Um, and it's going to, whatever this truth is that comes out, it's going to lead somebody towards victory. Okay. This is a card of victory. It's a card of 
recognition. It's a card of success that comes after being in a battle zone. Now, this is also public recognition. Somebody may be publicly being recognized, recognized for their for their valor or recognized for their hard work. And it's funny because when I was shuffling, I was seeing hard work. You know, somebody has put in a lot of work. What I saw actually was a Knight of Pentacles and what I, th I thought was hard work. And this does very much remind me of the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody's hard work is paying off in some way, however that resembles or or however that applies to you. This is somebody's hard work that is paying off. Now, with the justice reverse, somebody has been in a situation where things aren't balanced, where things aren't um, equal. There's not equality there. They aren't being treated in a, a practical manner. They aren't be, being treated in treated the right way. They're not being nurtured. They're not being taken care of. And it's time to relocate. Okay? This is not being nurtured, not being ter taken care of. There's no more growth here. It's time to relocate. This is a dead end. Okay, this is a dead end. So this is the end of a painful situation where there is no more growth. It's And somebody is not going to be happy with the decision that is made. Okay? They are not. Somebody has been holding on for dear life. This is holding on, stubborn, uh... Oh, unwilling to open up, unwilling to change. Somebody that may be greedy, somebody that is obsessed. They are obsessed with holding on to something. And they may be just be, be obsessed because of... It's mine. I'm not letting it go. That's what I hear. It's mine. This, it's mine. It's, that's, it's like ego. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. You know, mine, 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 mine. And you get that from Nemo. Anyhow, it's mine. <laughs> you know, it's that's it's, it's 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 an obsession. It's mine. And then and then this five of swords. This is it's really been a serious battle. And now this is about power and control. I really feel like this is about control. I really do. And somebody has been through some sort of a war zone. I mean, when you get the Five of Swords reversed, this is somebody that is mentally dysfunctional, that is, has been uh, volatile. They've been volatile. Um, they may be feeling humiliated, and now, and now they need to prove themselves. We have a very stubborn individual that has been trying to prove themselves, probably to be somebody that they are not. And they're willing to hurt anybody in the process to prove themselves as uh, the stable, solid, secure person that they are really are not or something like that somebody hasn't heeded a warning it's like they should have walked away they should have stopped but they didn't stop and they and they and they got themselves in trouble with it's almost like they sabotaged their own success by going overboard and I feel like this person need to hold on to something that is superficial has gotten them into trouble and when they should have walked away you know they wanted to win at all costs and their need to win at all costs has gotten them in trouble they may have lied there's definitely some lies here somebody's lies are getting called out they're getting caught in their lies and it's causing them they're going to have to let go of whatever it is that they their their stance okay they're it's almost like they are going to be humiliated but they cause their own humiliation by um by lying, you know, that's how karma, and this is karma, okay? Karma works in mysterious ways. If you lie and, and expect it to be revealed, I mean, this could even end up in the newspaper or on the internet or whatever. It's like this, if you don't want it to end up in the public eye, don't do it. Don't do it. If you're worried that, you know, what your actions are going to, cause if you if you're worried that your actions are going to be publicized then don't do it okay because the, the way it is today anything that you could do 
can be publicized and it may end up being publicized. So somebody may be humiliated by the publicity that they are getting because of their actions, you know, um, social media, you know, social pressure, whatever. I feel like somebody has tried to hold on to something due to social media, due to social pressure, and they've went to extremes to hold on to something that doesn't belong to them. You know, and that you kind of think about it like a pathological liar, somebody that believes their own lies, that kind of situation, you know, trying to make themselves to be somebody that they are not. So I feel like we have uh, something that is about some news or information that is about to come out that is going to reveal somebody's uh, true nature, okay? And it's going to change the circumstances in a way that is probably shocking, okay? I think it is going to be a shock. I think that there is going to be a relocation because something is coming to a, an, an end. Um, this is an end. It's a painful end. This is like a death, okay? So it's, it's definitely going to be a painful ending, okay? Because somebody is going someplace else because they're getting caught. They're getting caught. And it's a basically they're getting caught by karma, right? What goes around comes around. So I feel like we have somebody here that speaks the truth. And I don't know if it's a child or if it's somebody that is just very honest, you know, whoever it is, this person is honest and they are going to speak up. They have some information about a person that is greedy and selfish and obsessive and lies. And this, this is, is going to cause the person that was lying to be humiliated. Okay. There's going to be some sort of public humiliation. You know, I'm sorry, but that's what I see. And I feel like, um, you know, the, it, maybe this has already happened and this person went overboard to prove, you know, that, that it was unfair to them. You know, this was unfair to me and, you know, they overstepped their bounds and, you know, maybe they should have just walked away, you know, when it was time, it, the last time. We have somebody here that has a hard time, um... doing the right thing okay they have a hard time doing the right thing and this person that has a hard time doing the right thing is going to experience a painful ending courtesy of the laws of karma it could have to do with money it could have to do with a home it could have to do with anything that is valuable to you Okay, because this is something of value that you put effort into, but obviously you didn't put enough effort into it. Perhaps when it was when when it was younger, when it was younger and it really needed to grow, you didn't put effort into it then. Okay? And I got the goosebumps in both arms, you know, so that was a yes. So it's like when it was in its infantile stages, you should have nurtured it then. It's too late. It's too late. It's over. So I feel like be prepared to receive a message that you don't want to hear. This message is going to make you feel like this isn't fair. Um, but it's gonna it's going to uh, allow you to start over someplace else. Good luck.